What if your scheduled board meeting was about to begin, but someone on the board was suddenly excluded? They were not able to participate due to lack of accessibility, something, of course, at the very heart of independent living. What should be done? Let's consider a scene from a meeting just about to begin. Okay, everyone, let's get started. Do you all have the material I just handed out? Marie, do you have your Spanish copy? Si. Brenda, do you have the large print version? Yes. And Mark, do you have the Braille version? Mm hmm Have I left anyone out? What about Kathy? Where's her interpreter? The interpreter just left a message with the receptionist. She apologized and said she wouldn't be able to attend the meeting. Well, what should we do now? Can Kathy read lips? She shouldn't have to read lips. Look, I can type fast. Why don't I just type everything and she can read the screen? I'm not so sure that's a good solution. Maybe we just need to reschedule the meeting. Well, we do need to discuss certain matters on this agenda. I don't know if we can put it off. You know, I think we need to be a model that conveys to the community just what is needed for full accommodation. I think we should be firmly in place ahead of time so that we can have a contingency plan and not suddenly be left with a void. What would you say if such a matter occurred? Continue with the meeting or reschedule?